And now the exciting conclusion of Hamster Paradise already in progress. Okay, maybe it's not exciting. Maybe it's never been exciting. But it's hamsters, Dad Burn it. Hard to believe this caps off the first month of Hamster Thursday brought to you by Felicity in Worcestershire. And for such a milestone, I feel disappointed. Hamster Paradise 3 had everything, man, plus rabbits and squirrels and an amusement park and mountains and forests and all. And this doesn't. Heck, it doesn't even have the distressing, yet cute, vocal clips. My hamsters don't talk to me anymore. That either means this game's a step backward, or the medication's finally working. While this fourth version maintains the rabbit's support, the squirrels have taken a powder in favor of tandem hamster action. Rather than being limited to hamster-on-hamster -hamster interaction only when you're in the immediate vicinity of someone else with a copy of Hamster Paradise, and let's be honest, in this day and age, the chance of that is rapidly approaching zero, you can raise two of your own hamsters and allow them to interact in a kind of creepy adjoining room between their two cages. Which, of course, leads to the player looking on as the principals on screen engage in awkward hamster foreplay. Which is totally going to be the name of the band I'm never going to form. Fortunately, you can give them something a little more E-rated to occupy themselves with, such as bouncing a ping pong ball around. But unfortunately, there's no extreme hamster volleyball like in the last outing. Just a team building exercise. And as soon as they're done with that, it's back to the inappropriate displays of hamster affection. Apparently, your hamsters will produce a litter of hamlets if you continue to raise them properly, but these hamster progeny are seemingly unable to travel back in time from decades in the future and join your party for tactical RPG combat, so I don't see any reason to get too deep into the details. What it boils down to is this. While you can engage in co-op hamster activities on your lonesome now, the final product feels rather lackluster compared to Hamster Paradise 3. And if I stare at that sentence for too long, I'm going to instinctively reach for a bottle to try to make the world right. But though it's a step backward, it's a small step, as there's a new spate of minigames alongside the traditional wheel-spinning and ladder-climbing action. This one, where the hamster of your choice walks along and is guided by arrow panels on the ground, is even kind of interesting. And besides, who's not down with a hamster eating fries? Or blowing bubbles? Or playing hide-and-seek? Who needs Crisis or Mass Effect when you've got hamsters? As we bid Hamster Paradise adieu, I encourage you to join us next week when, in lieu of a copy of Hamster Paradise Advanchu, no, that's really the name, we'll be moving on to other non-digital kids, non-Atlas hamster husbandry simulations.